Hello everyone. I did a video a while ago on the BCB cooker and what I did, I flattened the flaps down inside and put an alcohol stove in there. And I've had a lot of questions about that and also about how this would work with the original base there untouched with an alcohol stove so today i thought i'd do a bit of a q and a and try and answer some of the questions and hopefully the information will be useful to you if you're new to this sort of cooker and you've not seen one before it comes like this it's small metal cooker it's cheap as anything and then what you do you open it up you can put the little back door on there close the sides in and then in there you can place a fuel tablet or anything that'll go in there and burns basically and that gives you a nice cheap and cheerful really robust and usable cooker the stoves are meant to be used in conjunction with these bcb fire dragon fuel tablets i've got mixed views on these i like the fact that they're convenient I don't like the fact that they're very expensive for what they are and also I don't like the fact that the flame pattern can't be controlled in any way it basically you light it and it goes off it creates a lot of heat and a lot of that heat and flame gets wasted I modified this cooker slightly what I did I bent these two sides down with my thumbs it's quite thin material so it's easy to do and that allowed me to have sufficient space in there to use it with an alcohol stove I then placed a kettle on top and what that did that gave me a nice stable base in order to use the kettle that then makes the whole system very versatile because you're not restricted to a kettle you can use all types of pans with this just rest them on the top and it keeps that stability I received a question regarding this setup with the kettle resting directly on the top and the nice person who contributed said that I shouldn't rest the pan directly on the top but this type of stove has two sets of jets and what happens is it's absolutely fine to cover the top set of jets because that will continue to burn and it's supposed to be more fuel efficient don't get them confused with something like a Trangier which then you've got the one set of jets obviously if you block that off it's going to go out with this setup you can also use a Trangier alcohol stove so you've got a nice cheap efficient and compact system in which you can place on a kettle or a frying pan or anything you want and if you've got something smaller such as a cup what you can do is place some kind of trivet on there anything you've got will do as long as you can use it as a support and you'll then be able to use your cups and anything else that you have just to answer the question about the little windshield at the back you can kind of get that in but it's a bit of a tight squeeze so it's not really practical to use it with the trangier because there's a lip that hangs over the back i've also been asked is it possible to use one of these bcb cookers in conjunction with an alcohol stove without modifying it well the answer to that is if you've got an alcohol stove which is very shallow uh, this one here this is a, a Vargo converter stove and this one here is a speed stove I'm sure if you live in America or anywhere else there's similar things to this that are shallow uh, these are only available in the UK where was I oh yeah so you can then place the stove inside the cooker if you find that you don't have quite enough height for the flame what you can do then let's move that out of the way what you can do then is adjust the height of these two 
side arms, closures, whatever you want to call them, and that will give you additional height in the center. And then you can carry on with your trivet, etc., and carry on heating your water for a nice cup of tea. Obviously, because the width of the cooker is not wider than the stove, it's possible to leave in the windshield at the back. So just before I take these outside and set fire to them, you're probably wondering what the dimensions are on these in order you can see if your stove will fit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick montage of measurements and hopefully that will help you. Hopefully from that little montage, you can calculate whether your stove will fit if you plan on doing the little conversion there or using a small stove in the unconverted position, so to speak. If this video has been useful to you so far, please don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe if you think I'm worthy. That's enough for me. I'm going to take these out and set fire to them and see how well they work. <music>